Hello, we're going to go ahead and get started. <laughs> Welcome to Celebrate Live 2021, as we have already said. Yeah, very excited about that. Um, yeah, thank you very much for all of you in your attendance tonight in support of On With Life and in support of everything that we do for our person serve, for the families, for the caregivers. Thank you, thank you so much. This event would not happen if it wasn't for all of you in the audience and we appreciate you being here. Mm -hmm. And really everything that we raise tonight goes for our programs, directly to our programs and you're helping person served and the families and caregivers throughout that time. So throughout this entire show, yeah. We're, so here's the thing, guys. <laughs> we have wanted to be nationally and internationally nationally syndicated with our, with our show. And so really, we're just going to pretend you're our live studio audience. No, we're not we? pretending. This is our oh. first live studio audience. Yes. Yes. So really, how many of you have even heard of the Tammy and Gail show? Or really? The Raise your hands. Oh, yeah, yes. We, got some fans. we have some super fans. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Love it. Extra credit if you go home tonight and like us on Facebook. But we don't, we're not going to follow that. Abby Bogards is. But that's fine. <laughs> but like us because we're cool. Anyway, every Tuesday. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no I lied. Once a month, Tammy and I get together. <laughs> we do with some of our staff and what we do with the Tammy and or the Gail and Tammy show is we get together and we try to educate we try to educate as many people as possible on various topics and it's like a talk show mm -hmm. sometimes it goes a little awry <laughs> a lot of times it goes a little so, awry. sometimes there's a lot of laughter maybe some inappropriateness that gets cut so we're good <laughs> we're totally good um so we actually are, we want you to continue to eat, drink, be merry throughout all this. Enjoy your wonderful dessert. But especially drink and loosen up your wallets and yes. your purse strings. Because really that's what it's about, right? All right, so. Well, they get to watch our first video up here. Oh, so guys. this is a little snippet of the Gail and Tammy show. Seriously, it took her nine months to figure out her little thing. <laughs> so let's see if she can figure this out. So are you ready? Welcome to the Gail and Tammy show. Yeah! <laughs> Go Tammy! All right. All right. It's only been nine months. Only been nine months. Anyway. And during practice today, it didn't go well, so. No, it, it never does, actually. All right, so this is a talk show. You are our live studio audience, and we're going to sit, because, y'all, I'm wearing heels. This is not good. Anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome. So we want to introduce who we are, what we're doing tonight, and basically, I'm going to start off with Tammy and say, hey, Tammy, what are you doing here, and who are you, and how are you associated with On With Life? All right. So, Tammy Miller, I am currently the Director of Outpatient Services at On With Life. I am in my 18th year at On With Life, and I have had the opportunity, which really, when we think about it, we've been open 30 years, so I've been there longer, or like, more than 50%. More than 50%. half. Right. Good so job, anyway, Tammy. Thanks. I agree. So, you know, I think what you'll hear tonight, you'll, you'll understand why I've been there so long. It's a pretty incredible place to work. Um, we get to see amazing things every single day. Um, it's just been fun to, to kind of grow with the organization and um, get to see such different parts. Yep. So. And I'm Gail, ooh, sorry, I'm Gail McGahey. I'm a physical therapist at On With Life and I've been here for nine years. And people always ask me like, what, you know, what's so, what's so special about On With Life? And what I will tell you is as soon as you walk in the door, what you feel is passion. And you feel passion from the people all the way from our CEO, all the way down to people who are our facilities and people who are doing our laundry, our CNAs, our nurses, our, our staff. 
the people that are in the front door, everybody has passion for what we're doing and for how we serve our people. And so that is what takes me back every single day to do the same thing, to treat our people, to treat our person served, the caregivers and their families. All right, so maybe before we get started, though, we have several people we really need to do an extra special shout out for. Um, and a, a special thanks first um, to our presenting sponsors, which is Brick, Brick Street Market and the Polk County Board of Supervisors, as well as our diamond sponsors, Charlene and Don Limberti. So let's give them a round of applause. Their support is really significant and much, much appreciated. The other thing we'll have you do is please review the list of the additional sponsors that have, been, have en enabled us to be able to have the event this year. Um, and we definitely appreciate the businesses, the families, anybody who's donated and sponsored for this event. Um, and it's such an important um, mission for the things that we do at On With Life. So we'd love to give you a round of applause for the rest of you as well. Thank you for your donorship and sponsorship. So we now have the, uh, the the honor of introducing our um, honorary co-chairs. Well, actually, it's our first guest oh, on the show. Sorry, sorry, okay. our guest. Sorry, it's, she's getting used to this live stuff. <laughs> Usually they can just cut that out and we can do it again. Right. We have to go one, two, three. Live, <laughs> usually. Okay, so who are our honorary guests? We have two co-chairs of our honorary co-chairs. Who are they? So we have Karen and Greg Tilka. Yay! And Shelly and Jeff Wagnus. Did you say, did you say them? Yeah, I did. Jeff and Shelly. Yeah. Yeah, okay, thank you. You gotta put your hearing aids in. <laughs> that is so mean. Okay, so first we'll start with the Tilkas, and they reside in Ames. Um, Karen actually works in IT at McFarland Clinic. Um, Greg is a faculty member um, at the Integrated Crop Management at Iowa, Iowa State, as well as the director of Iowa Soybean Research Center. That is a mouthful. Dude, that's a lot to read. I didn't do very well, but anyway. We have actually known Karen since 2014. Karen is living, and I will also say thriving, with Parkinson's. And she has participated um, with our therapy service, outpatient therapy services, since 2014. She has participated in one of our programs call, called Lee Silverman Voice Training, LSVT, big and loud. But she's also, since then, continued to support anything related to Parkinson's. Now, well, and not just Parkinson's, man. She's there all the time. She's there constantly. I mean, that's a good thing, Karen. Don't it worry. is. Now, we also have so, several of our other people with Parkinson's in this room right now, and I will say that y'all are about the pushiest people ever. What happens We're is- supposed to be nice tonight. Oh, sorry. That would be we take that out of the video. Yeah. Madison, can you cut that? <laughs> all right. But they are, and what they do is they tell us the programming that they want, mm -hmm. whether it's boxing, whether it's a support group, it. whether it's a whatever, and all of a sudden, okay, we do it, because they said so, <laughs> for sure. So we definitely appreciate Karen and Greg. They are huge advocates and sponsors for, for On With Life, but really, any of our persons who have Parkinson's, Karen is the one who is texting, doing everything for these guys to keep them all together. And we definitely appreciate that. So guess what? We're going to welcome Karen and Greg up onto the stage, and they're going to share a few words. Good evening. I am Karen Tilka. My husband Greg and I are one of the honorary co-chair couples for tonight's celebration of life. I was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease in 2014. At first, I felt somewhat overwhelmed by the diagnosis, and it was difficult to even say the words out loud. Shortly after I was diagnosed, 
Greg and I attended a support group meeting in Ames. Tammy Miller, the outpatient director of services here at On With Life, gave a presentation on the LSVT Big program, which is a specialized exercise program for those with Parkinson's disease. Tammy sold Greg and I on the program immediately. We couldn't wait to hear what she had to say after the meeting to get us on board. Once I started working with the therapist, like Gail, <laughs> at On With Life, I felt like I wasn't fighting the disease by myself anymore. Everyone at On With Life is like family to me. They support me and encourage me to stay active in various programs that will help me battle my disease ongoing. I know I have friends here at On With Life that show me compassion, emotional support, and true friendship. Okay. So, so I will second everything that Karen said, especially her friends Laverne and Shirley, I mean Gail <laughs> and Tammy. So. Wait, I thought we were so. Thelma and Louise. <laughs> So uh, to summarize things, Karen and I just want to thank you all very, very much for joining us this evening. And we encourage you to open your hearts and your wallets, if you can, to support this amazing organization that for 30 years has been helping patients take small steps and make giant strides. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Karen and Greg. Thank you so much. All right. Well, we said we had two co-chairs, so here's the next ones. Shelly and Jeff Wag Wagnesses. Man. Wagnesses. We were, Wag we were drawing short Wag shots of okay, who was so going to have spelled to say that. W-A-N-G-S. Wagnesses. It's close. Do you, do you know how nervous we were about saying that? Is it wet? I mean, man. Anyway, sorry anyway, guys. Jeff and Shelley, come on up. <laughs> Whoa, we missed our mark here. Where'd it go? So, <laughs> Shelley and Jeff reside in Ankeny, where Jeff owns VO, VO Concrete and JMT Trucking and first connected with the organization through his business. Not only have they experienced On With Life in a variety of ways through the years, they have also experienced On With Life services firsthand when two of their family members unfortunately sustained severe brain injuries and needed our inpatient rehabilitation program, one in 2011 and one in 2017. These firsthand experiences have reinfor reinforced the belief Shelley and Jeff have in On With Life's mission and they continue to support the organization however they can. Come on up and share a few words. Okay. Uh, first of all, they didn't warn us that we were supposed to have anything prepared. Oh, oh, it's live. Oh, like your show. But you guys get to edit it before you release it. And my cousin was here in 2001 and said 2011. That was a misprint, but doesn't matter. Um, I'm glad they didn't warn me that, that we had to come up and speak because it... it becomes pretty emotional for me. Um, I got to know about the organization way back when, when we did have VO Concrete, Shelley's family's ready mix business. Jerry Fain was the facilities director, and, he, and we were in a breakfast club together, and he'd always say, hey, we want to do this. You want to help us? And so I was always there to help, and it was just a cool organization. Little did I know that we would experience the impact that the organization can have on families. <clears throat> and uh, so in 2001, my cousin got hurt in a real bad accident, and uh, we were up in Mayo, and he was getting ready to be discharged after 
six months, I think he was there. And they said, where are we going to send him? And I said, on with life in Ankeny. And they all looked at me like, what, where? And uh, he ended up in, fortunately, they had an opening. And um, he came here in a coma and left walking. And um, it was just an amazing experience. <clears throat> it, it reinforced my belief that I'm, I'm all, I've always been a community guy, and I've always been so proud that of the things that Ankeny can be, you know, oh, they're in Ankeny, Iowa. And I just always thought that On With Life was an was a unknown gem. And um, little did I know that we'd have another family member um, end up here. Um, My sister got hurt in an accident in 2017. And like Gary, she probably shouldn't have made it. But God had another plan. And University of Iowa hospitals were miracle workers. But she was so healthy, two weeks after not making it, they had to kick her out because she was healthy. But they couldn't do anything more for her. And it's like, where is she going to go? And I said, on with life in Ankeny. And fortunately, there was a bed opening, and um, we got her here. And um, again, she came here in a, in a gurney, and they lifted her from the gurney to her bed. And seriously, 30 minutes later, they were lifting her back out of her bed to go start working with her. And um, she's here tonight with a lot of our other family. And this is a great organization that everybody should be proud of. And, and like our co-chairs, support it all you can. Thank you. I'd say he did pretty good for not knowing he was going to have to speak. Thank you again for, um, for both of our co-chairs. Uh, and we just ha have that token there, just in, in recognition for your efforts and advocacy and support of our organization. And we thank you very, very much. And the trouble is you wear mascara at these events and that is gonna be dribbling down your face on stage. <laughs> but guys, thank you, thank you very much. I mean, two, di two different kinds of experiences and you can see the impact that it has on families, has on additional people. So thank you guys for being our co-chairs. We so appreciate it. Thank you for filling those tables. <laughs> we appreciate that too. Good job. Okay, so talk show. I mean, we have our second guest yeah. coming up. Um, this lady's pretty cool. Yeah, of course she is. <laughs> and she had to, we, ro we raised the bar to her and we told her she had to wear glittery sequins too. Yeah. And so she, kept, she kept texting us like, is this, is this glittery enough? <laughs> We're like, so, so, as you can see, you're coming up. Gene Shelton, our CEO, is going to join us on stage. I mean, we could all just do this. We'd be like a disco ball. <laughs> Thank you. So all right. Can we talk so about her? First let, of all, who is she? Well, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> she took my mic. Okay. So Jean Shelton, she is our CEO. You know what? Jean, honestly, graciously, and boldly has led us at On With Life for the last four years. And I do mean boldly and graciously, obviously, but boldly. And by doing, being bold, she's very, very forward thinking. And with that forward thinking has allowed us to go from local acknowledgement to being known on the national spectrum. Um, we are part of that national rehab, rehabilitation industry, and we're recognized for that, and I for sure appreciate your boldness and your sparkles, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> so Jean, now we get to ask you a few questions. 
Okay, all right. So let's start a little bit about, well, first we'll give you the opportunity if you want to, to give a welcome or a thanks to the whole group first before we start bombarding you with questions, if you'd like. Absolutely, so welcome everybody to the uh, 30th anniversary of On With Life Celebrate Life event. I don't think it's the 30th anniversary of Celebrate Life, but it is our 30th anniversary. And we've come a long way, baby, so mm -hmm. um, we'll talk a little bit more about that. I do want to make a comment um, in thanking our um, honorary sponsors because while it takes so much to tell your story in, and do that uh, from a, a point where, you know, it's not always that easy to share some of the stories that we hear, and I want to say thank you. Uh, from the point in time where um, the Mayo Clinic was asking who is on with life to today, we now serve as uh, an advisory member on uh, the Mayo Clinic TBI program. And so things have really changed for on with life. That makes sense. <laughs> we could say this one in unison. We can? Yeah. Hey, Jean, it's been a really tough year. Oh, Ooh, well, shall we talk about that? Are you talking about finding something to wear? Or oh. no? <laughs> that, it was quite tough. It was, and the yeah. outfit, ooh, it took a lot. I know, you were all excited about it. <laughs> so it has been a tough year and a half, really, when you think about, um, and it's not just been tough for On With Life, it's been tough for so many people out here, and it's, it's so great to see everybody below the chin, you know. <laughs> uh, I'm so tired of Zoom, I'm sure you all are too. Um, but we have in our facility what I think of as special cargo. Uh, our facility, uh, both in Ankeny and in Glenwood, yeah, contains or, or houses uh, folks that sometimes can't speak for themselves, mm -hmm. or at least can't do that yet. Uh, folks that need a lot of support. And uh, one of the most heartbreaking aspects of COVID was the no visitor guidelines. You know, to have uh, individuals in our facilities without any family support was um, one, heartbreaking, but also it, it was so rewarding to see all of our staff rise up and become surrogate family members. They had to. Um, so a year, maybe, and three quarters of the past uh, COVID time was completely without family members in our facilities. Um, we, d we thought, well, what's that going to do the outcomes? You know, are people going to do worse without families there? And, you know, we, we continue to study that. But, you know, we didn't have the opportunity to train families before an individual was able to go home. And, I got to admit, we broke a few rules. I, I'm just going to say it right now. We, we snuck a few families in to try to get them ready to go home. And um, we did things that we felt were the absolute right thing to do, but didn't quite follow all the rules. Um, but it, it, was, it was a tough year. Yeah. And I think we had three COVID outbreaks in our facility during that time period. And I'm so grateful that no one uh, passed away and no one uh, ended up with significant consequences due to COVID. So That's I probably went on long. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And really, it's been incredible to see our staff thrive through this. Like, you know, I think initially it was just so overwhelming, but to see our team kind of come together and to be able to, to do what needs to be done has been incredible. You know, the first the first part of COVID, I think everybody would agree was pre, would agree was pretty scary, and um, we had more of a problem with so many staff lining up to come to work than avoiding work. You know, they were there, um, and I would say uh, fifty percent of our outbreak was staff members. So you know, they knew the risk coming in every day, and they showed up. Uh, we'd send them home and, uh, you know, they'd come back. But just imagine the amount of commitment that takes for staff to do that, you know, in a time when there's just so much uncertainty. I am so 
humbled by that team response. And to this day, I'll never forget it. So I think that kind of leads to the next question we're going to ask you, and that is, this is your opportunity for any shout outs or recognition you want to give to anybody. I don't even know where to start. I would say this, uh, all of the staff was, they were just amazing. And then the community came, came through and started sending stuff to the staff, lunches and, or they would suddenly show up with a parade outside the building or uh, the surprises just kept coming and the staff needed that. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was an overwhelming sense of community and positive response to what we needed. But um, the bravery and the constancy of the staff, I will never forget. So this is probably a great um, time too as well to recognize our board of directors. Oh yeah. Should we, take, should we take a few minutes to also recognize them? Because I know uh, many are here, so maybe we could have them stand. And uh, if you're a member of one of our On With Life boards, if you would just take a second to stand so we can, can give a shout out to all of you. And if we add to that some of our amazing volunteers as well, they've been an integral um, part of our, our programming as well. So if you've been an On With Life volunteer, please take a moment to stand too so we can give you a shout out. Now come on, I know some of you are here. And then I think lastly, I think we should give everybody a round of applause to our person served and our families because that's really what we're here for. These are the people that inspire us every single day, and this is why we come to work. And, and we're hoping you're getting a glimpse a little bit of, of why we keep coming to work. So, so last question for you. How can our guest audience help us out, or what can they do to help On With Life? Well, of course, the answer you're expecting is please contribute to our annual fund. But let me tell you one thing that I think would even go above that. Uh, and this is off script, so sorry, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Getting the word out about On With Life and who we are and what we can do. Uh, you know, a few years ago, and the staff hates hearing me say this, but we won Best Kept Secret in the Des Moines business record which is, is wonderful that we were recognized, but we want the community to know about us. We want you to know if you have a family member with a stroke, that we're the place you should be coming to. We're gonna do more than look at a person as a po you know, in terms of unit of different functions like you know, arm movement or this or that. We aren't gonna separate that whole person out. We're gonna be looking at the whole picture and serving what they need, not what we need. Um, so getting the word out about On With Life to me is one of the greatest favors you can do, not because you know, we need a lot of recognition, but because I think people are getting less than care if they don't know about us. And when you get less than care, you get less than outcomes. And so when you have a nationally recognized brain injury specialist, a neurological specialty team in your backyard, wouldn't you want to know about it and take advantage of it? So yes, we, we love having donations and uh, things like that, but I believe the best favor you can do is share about who we are and let the community know we're here. I like your answers, lady. Thank you. Thank you, Jean. Oh, goodness. Uh -oh. So now he's taking over. This, yeah, this is speak, the live portion. Speaking of, speaking of going off script, hey. as Jean said earlier, I felt because they didn't tell me I had to say anything, I wasn't prepared. And I'm sitting there thanking some of those questions you guys were asking. The staff is amazing. Um, and my two sisters, I didn't recognize them. They were amazing. They stayed, and that's part of the capital campaign. You have to jump on board because part of that is an on 
site housing. And they, they have part of that. And fortunately, I live in Ankeny, so they could have stayed at my house. But fortunately, there was a room available in the on-site housing. And they, st they chose to stay there. I'm not sure if they didn't like their brother, but <clears throat> I think they liked their sister better. So they wanted to make sure she was being cared for. But they were there on-site, every meal, every activity, every... That on-site housing is so huge, but I want to recognize my two sisters that really played a big part in June's care, but the staff is absolutely amazing. There's so many people in this room that became part of our family, and there's so many staff members that are so long-term, you guys included, that there's a reason they stay there, but I can't imagine doing what they do every day, so we need to support them all we can. Thank you. Thank you, Jean. It, it's not the pay, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, that was funny. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about that anyway. <laughs> so, Jeff, shh, you talked about a special secret. Shh, a top secret special announcement. Yeah. Nobody Shh. included me in this secret. No, they didn't. You're right. They included me. <laughs> okay, so we have a really, really exciting announcement. It's been this super top secret until about two seconds ago. Secret <laughs> that On With Life for the last about year and a half has been secretly in the background working on. I'm not going to tell you what it Nobody is yet. Nobody invited me to those meetings. You can't do everything. Okay, but what we would love to do is invite Jeff Lamberti up to the stage and also Andrea Woodard. They are going to tell us some really, really exciting news. Come on up. Does somebody need to help Andrea? Yes, you can be in the hot seat. I'm gonna sit in. I'm gonna stand in between you two. All right, guys. Hi. Hi. We are so excited. First of all, the Lamberties are no stranger to On with Life. They've been involved with On with Life since the beginning. Your parents initially, um, as donors, also board members and general supporters. So thank you, thank you, Lamberties. Jeff is currently the president of the On With Life Foundation board and also the co-chair of this very top secret, very special, special committee that they're finally going to talk about that Jeff spilled the beans on. <laughs> right? Way True. to go, Jeff. Andrea, she's also no stranger to On With Life either. So you were first introduced in 2016 when your brother had a very traumatic brain injury and since that day you have been an advocate screaming yelling at the top of your voice all for On With Life and for your brother and advocating advocating and you have just gotten involved in our programming to the nth degree and we so appreciate that. So thank you both Jeff and Andrea. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. So I get to ask some of these questions. So first of all, Jeff, how are you doing? I'm good. <laughs> Tell us why you're here. Please, oh, yeah, sure, give us an overview of the secret top secret silent committee. I will. I will. First of all, I, I think I have to thank you for the photo. I think I was 25. <laughs> Probably that's the last time I let him have a photo. So. Uh, um, I, I do appreciate that. I probably didn't let Sarah have a, a photo since then. Um, <clears throat> we get the pleasure to announce something we have been working on for quite a while that's very exciting, and that is a $5 million capital campaign that we are calling Giant Strides. And today is our kickoff of our public phase of our capital campaign. <clears throat> Excuse me, now we got a couple slides um, hold that a minute. Oh, yep, I, I got, got you. I got some notes. I got you. 
because I want to tell you what we're doing with it, but it, but sometimes these are just words on paper, but I think it's important. So you can see a rendering of the new building we're going to put up. And what that's going to allow us to do is expand our capacity, increase the number of people we serve, provide uh, support to the caregivers and families, equip our staff with the technology and the equipment they need to achieve the top results that we can. And then I think we have one more slide. And I want to run through the words on the paper quick for a reason, but we're going to have additional outpatient capacity and programs, increase in patient privacy and safety, and that's some of what we learned through COVID about how we need to uh, do things around here. Um, we're going to expand technology, telehealth, assistive technology, and then we, we as Jeff mentioned, we're going to expand uh, the family housing and support that we have here. And so I don't want to minimize by any means um, just the words on, on paper, but it really doesn't talk about the heart of what we're trying to do with this capital campaign. I've been blessed to be a part of this organi organization for I think 25, 27 years. Uh, my dad uh, was around long enough to help get us started and then he said it's, it's your uh, job to help them and now we're on to the third generation with with my daughter Meredith, but having been around <clears throat> this long Every time I think we've reached like our capacity to change lives and to do better These people at on with life amaze me um, We don't have a limit on what we can do for the people we serve and it's not just about sending people back home, which by the way we do uh, for most of the people we serve. It's the quality of life, the happiness when they return home. And every day I'm just amazed when I come out about the things that we can do to continue to improve on that, things with technology, things that are changing every day. Um, there's no limit, I don't think, uh, to what these people can do. And so that's what this capital campaign is really about. It's not about bricks and mortar. It's not about a building. It's about what happens inside that building. And truly, there are no limits to what these people can do. And I know a lot of you have been touched. I know a lot of you already know that. But this capital campaign is about taking this organization to the next level. So that's really what it's about. We're thrilled to announce it today. <clears throat> Andrea and I are thrilled to be the co-chairs, but we've had a lot of help so far in the process. Uh, and I do want to recognize uh, some folks. First, I will recognize uh, my folks, uh, Don and Charlene Lamberti, because I roped them into being our honorary co-chairs. Yeah. And then what I would like is I want to introduce our, our campaign committee, who's been working very hard for a year and a half, maybe even more. It's hard to know with COVID kind of interrupted uh, some of our, our processes but who've been working very hard. And so I want to introduce our committee. And when I uh, name you, please come forward to be, to be recognized. Uh, John Arold, Carmen and Steve Bull, Kim Hagedis, Julie Fiddler Dixon, Art Feline, Marcia and Rich Flaw, Gail, go on down, be recognized, Gene Shelton, and Steve Van Ort. Please help me thank our committee members and welcome them here. I'd also mention we have a couple uh, committee members that are virtual, uh, Carrie Walter Ashby and Doug West who couldn't be, but I think they are with us uh, virtually. So again, thank you all. Are you going to do this announcement yeah. now? Okay. It's so not, we got big news. It's not the Jeff Lamberti show. <laughs> Come on. It is. Ha. Okay, once we get all of these guys organized, we have a very, 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 very top secret special announcement. Oh, ooh, look at that. <laughs> this is comical. <laughs> What do you do with a bunch of board members? You get them in line. You make them hold their signs. No. 
Okay, guys, do we have the right numbers? <laughs> and just so they know what we're doing, we've got a $5 million campaign. We've been working on it. We want to let you know where we're at uh, to date with our kind of quiet phase. And we're going to kick off the public phase uh, of this. And that's where you have a great opportunity to get involved. We have great naming rights, by the way, if any of you are looking. <laughs> They're still working on it. Maybe we raise more money than we thought if she moves a few numbers. No. It almost feels like the price is right, doesn't it? No, seriously. Like, you're going to win the car if you move it this direction. Are we ready? Okay, so as Jeff said, this has been silent. The, what we've been doing as a committee and most of the other people have been doing as a committee is reaching out to those people that we know that typically support On With Life. And I cannot believe that we are at this number. So on the count of three, when I say one, two, three, don't do it yet. But when I say three, you flip your card around and announce how much our top secret special committee has made. Are you ready? Okay. One, two, three. Okay, that's pretty amazing, is it not? That's awesome. So, Andrea. How do we do? <laughs> Once I'm, you not, get I'm not sure you guys won the car, actually. <laughs> I, th I, I think you're out. When you consider that number, though, on a silent campaign where we're trying to reach five million, that number is pretty darn phenomenal. So thank you to everybody who already has supported us. But there's more. Yes, I do want to mention, and I think we're going to start scrolling here, some of the, the donors who have contributed to that really impressive amount so far. So um, since I can't see super well, I, I do know I want to start with uh, thanking uh, Herman Minders and, and his family. Our connection with Herman and his foundation has grown through his relationship with one of our wonderful volunteers and board member, Janelle Conley Janelle. back there, and, and her brother. And the Minders Foundation has made donations to On With Life in the past, uh, set for the past several years, including a gift to name the Butterfly Garden in honor of Janelle. And, but, but this uh, was such a personal and truly transformational gift. He lives in Oklahoma and has never been to On With Life. And they donated, what was it, a million dollars. Uh, so we just really want to give a special thanks to the Minders family. And, and to Janelle and her family for, for this really special connection. And, and then again, we'll, we'll scroll through some of the donors here. Uh, you'll, you'll continue to, to see some of these folks in the crowd and, and hopefully this will be a good motivator for you all to get those uh, wallets out and ready because we wanna thank everyone who has donated so far and thank you all in advance for your, your donations tonight. We will continue to provide updates online on the website at onwithlife.org slash giant strides and where you can of course make a donation uh, uh, or if you're ready to write a check tonight we'll, we'll certainly take your take your money but uh, just uh, take a look at the at the screen as this scrolls by I'm sure you'll recognize some names that like I said plenty of them are here so Gail anything else you want Jeff and I to cover oh I, I'm, a po I'm a politician or retired or reformed politician, so I like to talk. <clears throat> Actually, I probably got that from my dad. No, just a couple things. In, in terms of the actual project and what we are doing, it'll be online. You can find, ask staff. Um, like I said, it looks like bricks and mortar, but so much thought has gone into this capital campaign and what we're going to do with these hard-earned dollars. Um, it really is cutting edge in terms of taking us to that next level of how we serve people. So if you want to know more about the project itself, uh, please ask. We, we'd love to share. Uh, it's, it's really going to be amazing when we get this thing done, and we will get it done. It's not a matter of if, it's when. Um, and it's, gonna, it's going to impact lives 
like you can't imagine. And yes, we, we, we ask for your support. And like I said, there's plenty of naming rights and things like that. Uh, but please help us uh, take this organization to the next level. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff and Andrea and the entire Top Secret Committee. Thank you, guys. This is the part of our show where it's like the Oscars. We have some awards to give out, which is why we're all sparkly. Yes? Yes, exactly. So we're going to call uh, Jean uh, back Jean up. Shelton, come on back to the stage, please. You sparkled so well the first time. We're bringing you back. I should have put myself in a closer seat. <laughs> You know, it's hard to recognize uh, people when there's just so much goodness out there. And we do have a couple of folks that have uh, made some striking contributions to On With Life. Uh, and I'm not talking about money as much as, well, it could be money, but it's that contribution of themselves to uh, support uh, the people we support and you know we talk a lot about on with life but we really aren't the important factor the important factor for on with life is those we serve and so uh, we are very committed to turning around anything that comes in quote unquote to on with life to real service and support for our person served and um, with that i'd just like to bring forward a couple of folks that I think are worth recognizing. By the way, um, Janelle, I want to thank you again for your advocacy with the Minders family. That was pretty amazing to have, you know, just somebody that believes in helping others pop up with this wonderful contribution, and it was solely because of Janelle's passion for who we are and what we do and Janelle sees every day who we are and what we do and uh, she just carried that forward so what a story that is uh, anyway uh, our first honoree tonight and I'd like to invite Nancy Greening and Norma Hankey up you can start coming up and I'll read a little bit about you And Nancy and Norma are receiving our Founders Award. And this award was created to recognize those individuals who have made lasting and significant contributions to On With Life's development. So they kind of are one of the reasons we're here and why we're present at this facility right now. This honor has only been given to seven pioneers in the On With Life 30-year history. And this year, it's going to these two lovely ladies. Uh, they are truly a part of our founding history, uh, both mothers of two of our initial persons served uh, in our inpatient program in the early 90s. Matt, Norma's son, was on the uh, On With Life's first ever person served. So the, per the, the first, number one. Matt was injured when in what we call now um, second impact syndrome. He suffered a concussion in a minor car accident, then played in an Ankeny High School football game two days later where he was knocked unconscious during the play. The timing and the impact of those two injuries was significant, and Matt never regained consciousness and remained in a persistent vegetative state, uh, but became an inspiration to many in the community until his passing in 2007. Chad, uh, Nancy's son, was injured in a motorcycle accident in June of 1993. He was 21 at the time and transferred to On With Life just a few months after we opened our doors. One of the first families they met was the Hankey family. And a bond was formed that continues to this day. Chad made an incredible recovery. And with the support and advocacy of his mother and his entire family, Chad discharged from On With Life and went on to live an active, independent life. 
It was just last year in 2020 that the world lost Chad. Norma and Nancy both began their advocacy in the early 90s due to their own experiences, but went on to become advocates for not only their sons, but all individuals and families living with brain injury. Norma and Nancy, along with a previous On With Life Founder Award recipient, Kathy Herring, went on to start the Central Area Support Group in the early 90s, which met on an, at On With Life for nearly 20 years. To this day, the group is still active under the Brain Injury Alliance of Iowa. Providing support for so many families, Norma and Nancy have remained longtime supporters of On With Life by attending events, holding fundraisers, and sharing their passion for advocacy with families and those we serve. Please help us honor these two wonderful ladies and their families who have truly helped shape On With Life uh, and made us who we are today. And I think also have helped shape the state in terms of brain injury advocacy. So thank you so much. having a few thoughts about moms and how wonderful their story is. Sorry about that. Our next Advocate Award was created to honor an individual whose outstanding advocacy has significantly advanced the treatment and services for Iowans living with brain injury. In that regard, it's an honor to present this award tonight to Senator Jack Whitfer. Senator, you wanna join us up here? I'm just going to read a little bit about you. Uh, as the current majority leader in the Senate, uh, you've been an advocate for On With Life at least since 2011. Um, I have had the honor of working with you and meeting you several times and have just been amazed at how supportive you've been of our program. Uh, to a degree where, you know, it's, it's not just you know, phoning it in. You really come and, and care about our facility, so that's just, it means a lot to me. Um, you have come to On With Life on a regular basis. You know, it's, if we call, you're there. And uh, whether it's just to keep you posted on how things are going in the community or what's going on in terms of uh, managed care, Medicaid, you know, whatever the situation is, uh, you have just consistently been a wonderful support for On With Life. For example, there was a time not too long ago, uh, and some of this may not make sense to many of you, but a rule had been proposed that wouldn't allow a 90-day payment period. And so, I'm going to try to simplify this as much as I can. When you have a brain injury and you enter Medicaid eligibility, um, you may still be in a coma when that's happening, or you may still have significant issues going on, and you may still be in the ICU. Who knows? But the idea that our population would meet certain deadlines for applications in Medicaid, uh, was really not feasible. And uh, that rule had basically said, if you don't meet that deadline, we aren't going to retroactively give you benefits. Um, have I covered it pretty well? Yeah? So uh, we really needed help with that. Not us, per se, but the individuals that this represented. And Senator Whitford, um, 
was out of town and actually called into the meeting to make sure that this issue was addressed, especially for our population. Um, in so doing, helping hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people that wouldn't have been able to receive Medicaid benefits in a timely manner, which means they wouldn't have been able to receive services in a timely manner and, you know, it'd go from there. Or they would be receiving services, services, excuse me, and, but not have any payment source for it and they wouldn't know it. So uh, just a very complex issue that was truly a lifesaver for those of, of, of the population that we serve. So that's just one example of the support we've received from you, and we thank you very much. Thank you. 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 All right, Marsha Flau, we're going to give you an award. I need you to start coming up here. <laughs> this is our volunteer award, and um, it was created to recognize those individuals who have just been a steadfast presence in our facility and have dedicated so much of their free time to helping our person served, and you know that can vary in many ways, but uh, Marsha has been a great example of just an outstanding volunteer. Um, Marsha has volunteered with us for, I can't do the math very well, she's been with us since 2011, so a long time. Oh, I guess that's only 10 years, huh? <laughs> Hi, thank you. I know they did. I do have an MBA, by the way, if you want to know that. <laughs> uh, since that time, she's donated or contributed over 250 hours in service to On With Life. That's pretty amazing. And um, I have the honor to present this award to her. Um, she came here after seeing multiple friends that have been or were served by On With Life, uh, in particular brain injury or Parkinson's disease. And she felt drawn to give back. Uh, she started volunteering uh, in our outpatient program, and it's tied to when we opened our outpatient doors in 2011, 10 years ago from today. And uh, she's watched our program grow and been there as we have grown and quadrupled our outpatient business business service uh, for during that time. Um, going from serving 30 people in a year to over a thousand per year. Uh, so her time spent supporting our administrative needs or whatever is needed uh, has really helped us focus on our person served and it allows a busy staff to focus their time helping people uh, through her support. Marsha and her husband, Rich, are now both involved in volunteerism at On With Life. She, she drug her husband in, and um, they've also served as committee members and participants on our On With Life Giant Stri Strides campaign. So, you know, their support just goes on and on, and they've been just outstanding volunteers. So we thank you for all of your volunteerism. <laughs> See, nobody wants to say any. Do you want to come back up? Jeff yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lamberti probably does. It's all about Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> all right, here's your. I can give you your mic. Back. Oh, thanks. You Somebody's giving us her mic back rather than taking it. <laughs> all right, guys. We actually um, we want you to get a drink because it's getting close to the time when you're going to spend some money. We're hoping. But in the meantime. I'm trying to be Well, I know, but they can get a drink in three different places. Oh, yes. So that's important. Don't wait in line over there. You can go over to the VIP across the hall, or you can go all the way back down to the atrium for your drinks, because I know you guys are thirsty. 
So be quick about it, because we're going to give you just a few minutes to get your drink, and then we're actually going to, are we starting the video now? But we do have a video we want to share with you as well, but we want you to also uh, get those last drinks in. So here we'll Here's your break. The video? All right, video. Video. Go get some drinks, though, Shane. I need some coffee. Before I came to On With Life, I was a full-time CNA. I also was a full-time nursing student, so I was pursuing my dreams of becoming a nurse. I was also an MMA fighter. I competed in CrossFit. I was really active. I worked out every day. That was my favorite thing to do. It's Christmas Eve morning. I just woke up and I had really bad pain in my neck. And we have a massage gun. I used it on my neck and then seconds later I had no control over my body. I was trying to yell for my boyfriend and my words weren't coming out right and I ended up at Mercy with a stroke. I then came to On With Life for inpatient. I couldn't walk, I couldn't really talk, and I did um, all three therapies, and I did them um, like twice a day. Lindsay, Travis, Stephanie, Allison, and Jennifer, they all worked wonders and helped me get to where I am today, because when I was getting out of On With Life, I even jogged out of here. That would have never happened without them. I did take Lindsay to my gym. I think Lindsay thought that was like the hardest workout she ever did. But it was a very good time. <laughs> I continue to drive through my business with my mom. The name of the business is The Zen Sensations. And we actually started out making candles and body care stuff. Now we do shirts and mugs, tumblers, lots of fun stuff. But the best part of that is that I'm working with my mom. So it's working from home and having lots of fun doing it. Lots of creativity. So I think that helps me grow every day. I am still in outpatient therapy. I feel like I've built kind of a family here at On With Life. Ryan, Emily, Laura, Gail, Dr. Logaman, Jillian. The people here that have helped me through my journey here at On With Life have really um, showed that they care about me. They go above and beyond. They're pretty awesome people. I got my life started in a suburb of Chicago uh, back in the mid 40s, that's when I came into the world. From there, I went to Michigan State to get my undergraduate degree and then University of Oklahoma for a graduate program. After a few years of working in the area that I had chosen, uh, as often happens with people when they get out of school and you know confront the reality of what they've decided to do, they decide, well, maybe this isn't as interesting as I thought it was. So I changed careers, went back to school, got some additional training, and uh, became an investment advisor, which is what I did for 40-some years before uh, being diagnosed with Parkinson's in March of 16. My neurologist said, you know, have you, have you investigated on with life at Ankeny? You live there, it's a great facility. I think you might enjoy their big and loud program. My initial cooperation was somewhat grudgingly because I just figured that Parkinson's is something you learn to live with. But as usual, I didn't know what I was talking about. I'm here with these people and I'm getting 
better every day. I'm able to walk with less shuffle in the gait. My vocal quality, which had been a real strain, improved markedly. In other words, I was able to do some things when I was done that I couldn't do when I started. So I figured there must be something to this. They acquainted me with the term neuroplasticity, that if you work at it hard enough, you can teach the muscles and the neurons to respond differently than they're inclined to do, in this case, because of Parkinson's. So it is not a disease you had to learn to live with, it's a disease you could do something about. And that was an eye-opener for me. I thought, my God, that's fabulous. The other thing I like about this place is they quantify what they do. Bobby could do this today, Last week he could do that, and that kind of progress that can be charted with graphs is excellent for the person served because it allows them to see that they're progressing. They might not feel a heck of a lot different one week to the next, but if the therapist can say, look at this, you could not do this two weeks ago and now you're making progress, that'll turn them around. I became a firm advocate of the uh, program and I sent them a check, thank you note, for all the work, good work they'd done. One of my requirements uh, of the uh, gift was that they take $500 of it and use it to put the word neuroplasticity in big red letters in the main therapy room. So if people are saying to the therapist, what's that word mean? And then they explain it to them, and then maybe they will have the same awareness I had that you can do something about this. They called and said, would you like to consider being on our board? This place is phenomenal, and it all boils down to knowing what they need to know to get the job done and caring enough to do it right and work hard. And if you have those two qualities, the place can thrive. I can thrive as a client, a patient. Uh, the families can thrive because their loved one is being well cared for and is making progress towards some level of recovery. And thriving, I think, is really what it's all about in this post-pandemic world. And if you can help someone to thrive, then you've done a good deed. Before my injury, I was very active. We watch our granddaughter. I liked to walk, flowers, mowing. I was a dental assistant for 32 years, and I had just retired before I got hit on the road. I got hit on the highway by a truck. They flew me to Iowa City, revived me. They cut my head open from ear tip to ear tip, all the way across, and drained the fluid so that it would not get in my brain. I was out of it for two weeks. And that's when I came here and started learning to walk, talk, eat, all of the it's basics, terrific. pretty much everything. The therapist asked me a lot of questions about what I did before, what I enjoyed to do. One of the first activities that she did was plant flowers. We had her mowing grass, because she loves to mow grass at home. I do. That's what it's was... just unbelievable how it related to her, I think. Yeah, that's what was so nice about this place is everything you guys did <clears throat> helped me go home and resume my life again. You guys brought out in me what I lost when I got hit. I had a lot of visitors over the time I was here. My sisters and my brother and my parents. They mean a lot to me. And it was wonderful that they were able to come here and visit me and talk and carry on. On With Life also set up some therapy back in our hometown. And I was very thankful that I was going to that because it took me the last step to the old June. Every step has just been more and more positive and what more could you want out of a bad situation? I'm obviously doing a lot more now than I was then. I thrive. You're pretty much doing everything that yeah. you did before. I thrive doing the yard work. I'm driving by myself. Yeah, we travel. Brandy's retired now also, so we've got more time together. So She's yeah. still as stubborn as she always was. <laughs> 
And that's what I love about this place, is you guys got me ready to go back home and do whatever I needed to do. You know, whether it be work, play, and we do brag you up to a lot of people <laughs> because of the wonderful things that you did for me. We have had a couple of referrals, if you can believe that, to this place. And we're very, very happy about it. And they seem to think that I've come a long way as well. So maybe I'm a good example. I don't know. <laughs>
you know, to hang out with us and to actually get that, um, that movie taken care of or that video taken care of. So one of the gentlemen, Doug, he is not able to be here, but I'll take the, his applause. Woo! Go Doug! Yay! Woo! I mean, I was in the movie, so, you know. And we did not coordinate our matching pink outfits that day. I don't know what's up with that. Um, for the rest of you, if you would like to hoot hoot, do a big wave, do a big stand when I call your name so we can honor you. First one, Paige. Woo woo, Paige. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Paige. June. Woo! woo! And Mr. Matt. Good job, Matt. Thank you. Thank you all you guys for being willing participants. We're always looking for people, <laughs> you know, to make us look really good. Good job, guys. We appreciate that. Now, the next part is the part that we are so excited about. I hope you are going to loosen up your wallets and you're going to loosen up your purse strings because here comes the live auction. What we're going to do now is we're going to introduce Rick. He's going to come on back. Rick Herman, who is our auctioneer. Um, and basically, Rick has a very special connection to On With Life. We're running out of time, Rick, so we, it's, you can, would you like to share it? Real quick. Sure, it wasn't my fault we're running out of time, but that's okay. <laughs> it was Jeff's fault. Jeff Lamberti. <laughs> uh, my mom was served by On With Life after she had a stroke. She had a stroke, Jerry Fain called me, who I served on the city council and said, you gotta get your mom to On With Life. So I did, and I watched them do amazing work, and that's where I just saw miracles happen. And I think we've seen that here all night, and I think everybody that presented themselves is amazing. Carmen Bowles here, she was served. And I watched her, and it gets me choked up. And then we have Larry and Jane Noel. Jane's brother was in a very serious car accident, and it was uh, touch and go. And I think it was just weeks later, he was back practicing law. So by God, these guys do just wonderful work, and we're going to help them right now. Every darn one of us have an opportunity to do something great and be a part of this. So. Let's do this. Okay, now who's doing Am I keeping this? You keep that, and okay. you're going to auction, but we're oh. going to tell them what it is. Okay. Because, again, it's the Gail and Tammy show, not the Rick Herman, Jeff Lamberti we'll show. We'll see about that. <laughs> we'll see about that. Okay, so first up, Midwest Mattress. They have actually been participating with us for quite a, quite a few years, so thank you again. But you can sleep well on your Restonic Comfort Care Lakeview Ultra Plus Mattress from Midwest Mattress. It actually is a queen set, um, handcrafted in Iowa, but you could upgrade to a king if you would like to. Ooh. There is free metro delivery um, and setup included. And guess what? It's an $800 value. Rick? Yes. Take it away. Okay. So what you don't know is we sent my kid up to Iowa State with my wife's mattress that's like 30 years old. And uh, he was on temporary enrollment after the first year. But then we bought a Midwest mattress from him and he made Dean's List. And I'm not saying... <laughs> I just, so anyway, I'm just saying this is what happened. You know what? We totally forgot something. First of all, there's what? seven auction items. Is there really? There's Man, seven. this is great. The other thing that we forgot to mention, we have spotters throughout the room. Where so are they? Let's see our spotters. Spotters, now, raise your spotters hand. Spotters are going to help us. They but are. But it's really hard to see, so if you want to bid, wave your hand. But this is kind of an exciting opportunity. So is there anything else we missed? Um, let's see. Oh, if you win, the checkout will be out where you checked in. Oh, so that you can pay for what that's you want. Handy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a good. And idea. yeah, that's about it. All right, here we go. Great mattress, queen set, free delivery in the metro. And guys, Dean's list for your kids. <laughs> Guaranteed. All right, here we go. Five, five, five hundred to go. Anybody want to give me five? Okay, half price. Two fifty, two fifty. Anybody give me two and a half? Anybody give me two and a half? How about two fifty? Yeah, now three, now three. I got two fifty now. Give me three. Anybody give me three? Give me three hundred now. Give me three. Who love those videos? Give me three now. Give me three. Anybody want to give me three hundred now? Give me three. Give me three now. Give me three. Thank you. Now three and a half. Three and a half. Three and a half. I got three right here. Now three fifty. Three and a half. Now fifty. 
Where? Where? Okay, here's the deal. If you see somebody bidding as a spotter, I want you to say, hip. So here we stay right there. Come up. 300, 300. Do I have three and a half? Thank you. Now four. Now four. Now four. Auction with a tutorial. Now 400. 350. Now four. Want to give me four? Now give me four. Anybody give me 400? Now four. Now four and a half. Now four and a half. Now five. Now five. Now 500. Now give me five. Anybody give me five? Give me five. Now half. 500. Now give me half. 500 bid. Now half. Anybody give me 50? Give me 50 dollars. Now give me 50. Give me 50. You're out. 500. Now half. Thank you. Now six. Now six. Now six and a half. 600. Now 650. 600 up front. Now 650. Get back in. 650. Now seven. Now 700, now give me seven. Kim, don't talk to the bidder. 700, now give me seven, now give me seven. Anybody give me seven, give me seven. Hey. Fun killer. 700, thank you. Now 750. 700, now half. 700 bid, now half. Now half, now eight. Now 800. 750, now give me eight. Want to give me eight, now give me eight, now give me 800. I got 750, now give me eight. Want to give me eight, want to give me eight, give me eight. I hate to see you lose it because you seem you like know a they nice can gal. upgrade to a king. 800, thank you. Now eight and a half. 800, now 50. 800, now half. 800, now half. One eight and a half. One eight and a half. One eight and a half. Thank you. Now nine. Now 900. Now nine, nine. Give me nine. Now give me nine. Give me 900. 900. Now 950. 900, now give me 950. 900, now give me 50. Want to give me 50? I think she's done. It's late at night. She's tired. You can take this thing from her. You don't even see her. She's over here, but you're fine. 950, 950, 950. Okay, now here's what I can do. <laughs> you were in at 800. You were in at 850, right, young lady? Correct? Okay, so here's what I do. Does anybody else want in? Because we're going to make the deal of a lifetime right here, right now, and this is going to happen. I'll give you one for 800, and I'll give you one for 800. That's two mattresses. You're happy, you're happy, and that's what we came for. Are you good with that, sir? Okay, that's good, ma'am. Are you good? Wow, well, by God, it's a miracle. That's right. Oh, wow. Nice. <laughs> How does that happen? I hope you had permission oh. for that. There's a lot of forehead up there, too, guys. Hold on. Wait, come back. come back. Thanks, Ken, for doing that. Thanks, Kim, for killing it. Go ahead, kids. Amazing. So the second auction item up is landscape upgrade. So receive 2500 to spend on products or services from Country Landscapes, the landscaping partner for the On With Life Therapeutic Grounds Project. This is a $2,500 value. That's nice. All Look right. at that beautiful patio. What, what, that's a patio. Oh. <laughs> Gosh, guys, it's been a long yeah, yeah. time. <laughs> Some people shouldn't have a mic. All right, here we go. Here we go. A thousand dollars. A thousand. Give me a thousand. Anybody, give me a thousand. Thank you. Now eleven. I got a thousand. Now eleven. Want to give me eleven hundred? Now give me eleven. Anybody, give me eleven. Give me eleven hundred. I got a thousand up front. Now eleven. Now eleven hundred. Thank you. Now twelve. I got eleven. Now give me twelve. Eleven hundred bid. Now twelve. Any twelve? Now thirteen. Give me thirteen. Give me thirteen. Twelve hundred. Now thirteen. Want to give me thirteen hundred? Now give me thirteen. Give me thirteen hundred. Now give me thirteen. Thank you. Now fourteen. Now fourteen hundred. Fourteen. Now fifteen. Fourteen. Now fifteen. Now fifteen hundred. Now give me fifteen. Want to give me fifteen hundred? Now give me 15, 15, now 16, 15 here, now 16, 15 in back, now 1,600, I got 15, now 16, 16, now 17, now 17 in back, now 18, now 1,800, I got 17, now give me 18, give me 1,800, 17, 19, now give me 19, want to give me 19, give me 19, you're out, sir, 18, now, now I dig you back in, now 2, give me 2, give me 2,000, 2, now 21, 2,100, now give me 21, want to give me 21, now 2, 21, now give me 22, 22, now give me 23, now give me 23, 22, 22, 23, now 23, 24, 24, now 5, 24, now give me 5, give me 5, want to give me 5, now 6, now 600, 25, now give me 6, 25, now give me 6, now give me 6, now give me 6, now 7, now 7, now 700, now give me 7, give me 2,700, give me 2,700, a lot of stamina, new bid, 27, now give me 28, 27, now give me 28, 28, now 9, 28, now give me 29, now 3, now 3, give me 3, now give me 3, want to give me 3, now 3,100, 3, now give me 3,100, now give me 31, want to give me 31, want to give me 31, 31, now 2, Give me two. 31 now two. Wanna give me two? Wanna give me two? Anybody give me two? Thank you, Ken. Now three. Late better. Now three. 33 now give me 33. 32 now three. Give me three. 100 now give me three. 32 now give me three. Give me three. One in three. Now four. 33 now give me four. Now give me four. 100. 30 give me 34. 34 now five. Now 500. 35 now give me five. Wanna give me five? Wanna give me five? Wanna give me five? 
For those of you who don't know, Kim Kaplan right here, and Kent and I graduated in 1979. Kim was a lot of fun in high school. She's not fun at an auction, I'm just saying that. Great gal, beautiful lady. Kim, I'm sorry, I shouldn't do this in front of everybody. I probably should have done that outside. I'm so sorry. 35, now six. 35, now six, now six. You got 35, now 36. 36, now 37, now give me 37. 100, now give me 37. One into 37, one into 37, one into 37. That's not a terrible bid right here, 3,600. Thank you very much. <clears throat> and guys, just so you know, that was a joke about Kim. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm going to church tomorrow night. I'm Catholic. I'm going to tell Father that I lied, all right? It's over. After 5 o'clock tomorrow night, no more. <laughs> Mr. Hankey, great to see you here. Did you ever think that I'd be here and you'd be there after you instructed me? <laughs> Is this a great night or what? <laughs> oh, my God. Go ahead. Again, this is the Gail and Tammy show. I told you. Somebody take that mic away from him. Six. You're next. He's pretty good at that. Come on, I got some props on that. That was you pretty good. Get, yeah. Said no one ever. All right, now listen. I didn't, I didn't hear what you had to say. I can't hear you. Hey, Shane, do not win this one. Okay. This one is called On the Hunt. Now, if you were here two years ago, my husband, who does not hunt, won this one. <laughs> and not only did he win it, we haven't even used it yet. Do not vote on, or do no. No, no, no. Anyway, it's called On the Hunt. Enjoy a half-day hunt with two hunters, or you can be Shane and no hunters. <laughs> At the Docks Hunt Club in Adel, you can choose between pheasants, quail, partridge on prepared hunting fields. And those chuckers. I don't know what that is, so I didn't it's say the word. word. Yeah, it's, you thought it's a bad word. Is it word, a chukar? What is it? I, yeah, said, I said, I don't know what that word is, but it's a partridge it in is. a pear tree. And prior to that excursion, you know what you can do? You can take $250. Yeah. And gift cards from Shields. You can go get your hunting gear. Oh. Honey, don't do it because you don't got any of that stuff. And it includes a duffel bag full of goodies from the Ankeny chapter of Ducks Unlimited. And I don't know if you guys saw, but there was an Arctic 20-quart hard cooler out there. Now, I was eyeballing that one, but we're still not going to bid on it, Shane. <laughs> on the hunt. Take it away, Rick. Shane, where would you like to start the bid? <laughs> Just tell me where. How about it? Five, five, five hundred. Anybody give me five? Five hundred. Now six. I got five hundred to bid. Now six. Want to give me six hundred? Now give me six. Anybody give me six? Give me six hundred. I got five. Now give me six. How about five and a half? Five fifty. Now give me fifty. Anybody give me fifty? Fifty. Now six. Five fifty here. Now six. Now six hundred. Now six and a half. Six and a half. Now seven. Now seven. Now half. Seven hundred fifty. Now eight. Now eight. Now give me eight. Now eight fifty. Now eight fifty. Now nine. Give me nine. Give me nine hundred. Now give me nine. Nine hundred. Now half. Nine hundred. Now half, 900 bid. Now half. Anybody give me half? Want to give me 50 dollars? Give me 50. One into 50. I got 900 in back. Thank you. Now a thousand. A thousand dollars. Want to give me a thousand? Now 50. A thousand. Now 50. Now 11. Now 1100. Now 11. Now 11 and a half. 1150. Now half. 1150. Now. Now 12. Now 12. Now 1250. 1200. Now half. 1250. Now give me 50 dollars. Give me 50. You want into 50. One into 50 dollars. Anybody get into 50? I got 12 right here. Now 50. Yep. Poor kid. Thank you. Now 13. Now half. 13. Now half. 13. Now half. Now give me $50. Want to give me 50? I got 13 in front. Now 50. Now 13. 50. Now 13. 50. One into 50. One into 50. One into 50. Sold it. 13 right here. Thank you. It's so much fun to watch it from up here and watch you all. It's, it's so fun. Anyway, the next one, Viva Las Vegas. Right here. No, nope, next one up. Enjoy four nights in Sin City. Your stay includes two bedrooms at the Alara by Hilton Grand Vacations. Oh, I got Hilton on her points. I wonder if that <laughs> Located right in the center strip with panoramic views. The stay is donated by Judy and Jack Campbell and must be used by December 31st. The package also includes 250 USA 
Visa gift card towards travel expenses. This okay, is an eight hundred dollar value. Eight hundred dollar value in Vegas. This is yes. so awesome. Four days in Vegas is enough. Yeah, four days is good. That's strong. Yeah. Yep. I'll be out there seven days here in November attending the great automotive show called SEMA. Anyway, I'll be working for a little company called WeatherTech. All right, here we go. Shameless plug. How about it? Five, five, five hundred to go. Want to give me five? Anybody give me five? Give me five hundred. I'll give me five. Five hundred. Thank you. Now six. Now six. I got five hundred. Now six. Now give me six. Anybody give me six hundred? Five hundred to bid. Now six. Want to give me six? Now give me six hundred. Now give me six. Anybody give me six? Five hundred to bid. Now six. Anybody give me six? Now give me six hundred. Now give me six. I got five hundred. Now give me six. How about five fifty? Five and a half. Anybody give me fifty dollars? Five and a half. Now here's the deal. You get two hundred and fifty dollar gift cards. So right now you're only in at two hundred and fifty dollars. Quick math, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I learned at Ankeny. Anyway, five and a half. Five and a half, now six. Five and a half, now six. Five fifty, now six. Now give me six hundred, now give me six. Five fifty, now give me six. Want to give me six hundred, now give me six. Anybody give me six? Six hundred, now half. Six hundred, now half. Six hundred a bit, now half. Want to give me fifty? Want to give me fifty dollars, now give me fifty? I get six hundred up front, now half. Six hundred, now half, thank you. Now seven, now seven. Six fifty, now give me seven. Anybody give me seven? Give me seven hundred, now seven, thank you. Now seven fifty. Seven hundred, now fifty. Seven hundred bid, now half. Seven hundred up front, now fifty. Want to give me fifty dollars? I got seven here, now half. Half. Anybody wanted a half? Thank you. Now eight. Now eight hundred. Now eight. Now half. Eight hundred a bit. Now half. Eight hundred. Now half. Now nine. Now nine hundred. Now nine. Now nine fifty. Nine fifty. Now nine fifty. Now a thousand. A thousand dollars. I got nine fifty. Now give me a thousand. Thousand dollars. Now fifty. A thousand. Now give me fifty. Got a little puppeteer over here. Nine fifty. Now a thousand fifty. I got a thousand up front. Now half. Now half. Now eleven. Now eleven hundred. A thousand fifty. Now eleven. Now give me eleven. Anybody give me eleven? One in eleven. One in eleven. Anybody want? 11 sold it right here $1,050 thank you very much oh okay hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold the phone we like to change the rules so here's the deal not one but two but you were in at a thousand you took it at a thousand fifty if you stay in at a thousand and you stay at a thousand I can give you two you're happy you're happy on with life's happy, and that's what this world's about. Are you in? Sold, done, thank you. Nice, thank you. Hit the ball, drag Rick. That was good. Thank you. like you. that? That you was like really that? strong. Yeah, you like you that? You have very nice teeth, by the way. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Get white. I think it's nice to compliment people, too. <laughs> Why not? Sounds really sincere, but thank you, Rick. The words are, the words are there, and it was, <laughs> came right from the heart. It did it. It's not the Rick Herman show. That's enough of that. Let's go state, people. Go Cyclones. Anybody Cyclone fans in here? Yeah. Thank you. Hey, so you guys are invited to a Cyclones game day, November 6th. The package includes four tickets to the Jack Trice Club. Um, if, you got, if you're Iowa State fans, you know where that is. Um, not only that, it's against Texas, but not only that, you also get a complimentary game day buffet and VIP parking. We know what parking's like in that stadium with all those people. <laughs> anyway, and you also get a night stay at the Gateway Hotel in Ames, plus a dinner at the Iowa Stater. Four $50 gift cards so that you can go to the Iowa State bookstore and get your swag going on. But cooler than that is that you get to be on the field doing it, being a guest conductor with the Cyclone marching band Whoa. with our marching band director. Ho. Please stand up. Come on. Please stand up. Marching band director. So if you're an Iowa State fan, that's pretty dang cool because I would be up there with the staff. I'd be like, woo! You know, if he needs the Gail and Tammy show, we could go and direct things. We could go to you at our next live event at Jack Trice <laughs> Stadium. All right, Rick, take it away. Against Texas. Texas. Yeah. Dirty spiders. We shall hate their guts. Not the rest of them, just their guts. And by the way, that, that band is amazing. Thank you. I try to shake as many of those kids' hands when they come up the deal there. I don't know that you like that, but it does get me fired up for the game. Boom, let's go. Okay, <laughs> my new friend. <laughs> he sees me at the game. All right, here we go. Here we go. Five, five. How about it? Two fifty. Two and a half. Want to give me two fifty? Two fifty to bid now. Anybody give me two fifty? All right. Two fifty. Now three. Now three. Now half. Three hundred. Now half. Lane, you used to play on the field, but you've never conducted the band. 
Imagine how great that would be. Thank you. Now four, now four, 350, now four, now half. 400, now 50, four and a half. One, give me four and a half. Now give me four, 50, give me four, 50. Now five, now five, now five. Now five and a half. 500, five and a half. Now give me 50. Want to give me 50 dollars? Anybody want to give me 50, give me 50. Five and a half, five and a half. Now six, now 600. Now six, now give me six, now give me 600, now give me six. Anybody give me 600? I got 550 now. Give me six. Anybody give me six? Give me 600. Where? Right here. here. Now half. Thank you. Here's now 650. Six. 650. Now seven. Now 700. 650. Now give me seven. Anybody give me seven? Give me seven. Now 750. 750. Now eight. Now 800. 750. Now give me eight. Give me eight. Now eight and a half. Now nine. Now nine. Give me nine. Give me 900. Now half. Nine and a half. Now a thousand. A thousand dollars. Now 50. Now 50 dollars. Now 50. I got a thousand. Now give me 50. Now 1100. Now give me 11. 1050. Now 11. Now half. 11. Now half. Now 12. Now 12, now half. Now 12, 50. 12, 50. Now 13, give me 13. 12, 50, now give me 13. 13, now half. 13, now half. 13, now half. 14. 14, now give me 14. Give me 14. Now half. 14, 50. Now 1,500. Now 15, now half. Now half. Now 16. Now 16. Now give me 1,600. I think he's done. Now give me 1,600. Want to give me 1,600? Give me 1,600. I give you that. Now half. Now 17. Now 1,700. That's a shoulder shrink. Uh, why not? Now 17. 1,650. Now give me 17. Don't look back. It's scary. Now 1700, 1650, now give me 17, 1 in at 17, 1 in at 17. Sold at 1650 right here, Mr. Steve Ennard. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Lane. I tried. All right, moving on to our next one. This is the opportunity to have dinner with Steve. So you join Steve Van Ord in his Ankeny home for a five-course gourmet dinner for up to six and wine pairings from a sommelier, Anthony. Oh, I did it. Guys, I had to phonetically spell it out on here so I could. <laughs> Anthony Lee with each course. Steve will customize the menu to your taste and preferences. Package includes Uber gift certificates. This is an over $700 deal. Who doesn't want an Uber gift certificate? So here's the deal. I am friends with Steve on Facebook, and he puts pictures of food, and my pants get tight just bringing up his posts. I'm telling you, this guy's, the way he does things, and he takes amazing photos, but this is, this is your deal. You get to pick the, um, the, uh, the, each course, and um, it's at his place, which is extremely nice. The guy's got an amazing patio patio. Anyway, he's got a smoker, he's got a gas grill, he's got an amazing kitchen, got a huge island, and it will be just night of fun and frivolity. Steve, would you concur? Yeah, absolutely. Steve, the correct answer is I concur. Thank you, Steve. Better than that spotter, anyway. You can. All right, here we go. Fun night, though. Good times. And the wine pairing, as we discussed, there is, there is, uh, there's the guy. And yes, and he knows about wine. And it's very important when you do this, how you do that. I used to drink Muscatel in high school. Not a big deal. It was cheap. And that went with everything. It usually, and it paid rent. It didn't stay in me for a long time, but it was good stuff. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> Did that come out? All right, here we go. Five, five, five hundred to go. Thank you. Now six. I got five hundred now. Give me six. Six now seven. Now seven hundred now. Give me seven. Give me seven hundred now seven. Six hundred to bid now seven. Want to give me seven hundred now? Give me seven. Anybody give me seven? Give me seven hundred. Thank you. Now eight. Seven hundred now. Give me eight. Now nine. Now nine. Give me nine. Give me nine hundred. Eight hundred to bid now nine. Now a thousand. Now a thousand dollars. A thousand. Give me a thousand dollars. Give me a thousand. Give me a thousand. Nine. Now a thousand. Now eleven. Now eleven hundred. A thousand dollars. Give me eleven. Give me eleven. Now give me eleven. Give me eleven. Look at I do this. It makes you bid. Thank you. Now 12, now 12, 1100, now give me 12, give me 1200. 11, now give me 12, want to give me 1200. 11, now give me 12, give me 1200, now give me 12, give me 12. 1 in a 12, 1 in a 12, 1 in a 12, 1 in a 12, now 13, give me 13. 1200, now give me 13, he says he's out. But do you really want to be out? That's the question. Thank you. Now 14, 1400, now give me 14. 13, now give me 14, 1 in a 14, 1 in a 14, 1 in a 14. Sold at 1300 right here. Thank you very much. That was kind of fun, wasn't it, girls? Yeah, that was exciting. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Great, great job. Yep. Just thought I'd 
try to be like you guys. Nope. Nope, it's not going to nope. happen, is it? It doesn't say club. the Gail, Tammy, and Rick show. It sure does It says Gail and Tammy uh. show. All right, our, well, we have another announcement after this one, but our last, it's not on your sheet. Don't worry about it. You can't read it. Okay. Our last auction is actually Park City, Utah. So this actually was donated by really good friends of ours. They are super OCD, so the condo is immaculate. So I will just say that. But you can stay four nights in a beautiful condo in Park City, Utah. It is actually close to center of the town, close to Park City Mountain, but also to the Canyons Resort. Um, and it is nestled in the hills, so it's absolutely beautiful. It can sleep 10, but actually it can sleep more than that. We've had several families there. It's beautiful condo. Um, it has its own private hot tub overlooking the mountains. Park City, Utah is about 30 minutes from uh, Salt Lake City and actually usually from Des Moines there's a Delta to Salt Lake direct flight. I'm just saying and then 30 minutes to go overlooking the mountains. One thing that can't happen cannot be used during holidays or peak ski season but other than that there's a lot of other days of the Wide year. Open. It's wide open, and it's yeah. absolutely beautiful. Flying All right, into Salt Rick. Lake City is quite, is quite neat, too, because, you know, it's between two and you... Pew, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. It's so, I'm really worldly, aren't I? And I should yeah, say yeah. this is donated by Drs. Lori Harsh and Tom Ra Ramstack. So, and it can be used anytime, well, negotiated anytime between 2022. Okay. Except for those holidays and yeah. those other times. I sure like staying in clean places, too. No, they're really yeah, OCD. I'm serious. It's very nice. That, that yeah. people don't, but that's really cool. Okay. How about me just trying to hose my way in on this relationship? And they're just not, but I just pretend that I'm all, this is my time. All right, here we go. A thousand, thousand dollars to go. Anybody give me a thousand? A thousand? Thank you. Now 11. Now 1100. Now give me 11. Give me 11. I got a thousand up front. Now 1100. Now give me 11. Anybody give me 11? 1100. Now 12. Now 12. Now 1200. Now give me 12. Anybody give me 12? Give me 12. Give me 1200. I got 1100. Now give me 12. Want to give me 1200? Thank you. Now 13. Now 13. Give me 1300. Now give me 13. 12. Now give me 13. Give me 13. I got 1200 bid now 13. Want to give me 13? Give me 1300 now. Give me 13. Give me 13. Now 14. Now 14. Now 15. Now 15. Now 15. Now 16. Now 16. Now 17. Now 17. 16. Now give me 17. Now 17. Now 18. Now 18. Give me 18. Now 19. Give me 19. 18. Now give me 19. Give me 1900. I got 18. Now 19. Now 2. Now 2. Give me 2. Now 21. Now 21. Now 2. Now 2. Give me 2. 21. Now give me 2. Give me 22. Now 22. Thank you. Now 23. Consultant. 23, now give me 23. 22, now give me 23. Now 23. 22, now give me 23. Give me 23. Give me 2300. 22, now give me 23. 23, now 4. Give me 4. Now 5. Now 5. Now 25. 25, now 6. Now 6. Now 6. Now 6. Now 7. Now give me 7. Now 8. 27, now give me 28. 27, now give me 28. Want to give me 28. 28, now 9. Give me 9. 29, now give me 3. Give me 3. Give me 3,000. 29, give me 3. Give me 3. Now 31. Now 31. Give me 31. Now 2. Give me Two, give me two. Thirty-two. Now give me thirty-two hundred. Thirty-two. Now give me thirty-two. Now three. Give me thirty-three. Give me thirty-three hundred. Now give me thirty-four. Now thirty-four. Now give me thirty-four hundred. Now give me thirty-four. Brad, have I ever steered you wrong in my life? That's all I'm going to ask you. Okay. Nice gal. Used to clean her trumpet. I did. I cleaned her trumpet. I was an amazing trumpet cleaner back in the day. And I was a percussionist. But I did it because that trumpet needed it. 34, now give me 34. 34, now 5. Now 5, now 6. Now 6, now 6, now 6. You want into 36? One into 36? One into 36? Anybody want into 36? Thank you. Now 7. Now give me 37. Now 8. Now give me 38. Now 9. Now give me 39. 39, now 4. Now give me 4. Now 41. 41, now give me 41. Anybody want into 41? Anybody want in at 41? 4,100. Is that a yes? Now two, give me two. 41, now give me two, give me two, give me 42. Want to give me 42? Want to, you got to check her stamina, and I don't think she's got any. Give me 42, one into 42, one into 42. Late bitter, late bitter. Now give me two, give me 42. Now three, give me 43. 43, now give me 44. Maybe she does. Now give me 44, 44, now 45. 4,500, now give me 45. One into 45, now six. Now six, now six. One in at six. Anybody one in at six? Sold it, 4,500. Wow. You guys, that's absolutely amazing. But Rick, I've got something to tell you. What? 
We made a boo-boo. Okay. But you can fix this. What can I do? What you can do is let everybody know that not only do we have one country landscapes, we have two. Cheese and crackers. I know. You know what? <laughs> the, sh the producer came up and told me that on the side. Oh, I know. I don't know what so to do. Hot. But seriously, instead of having one country landscapes, we have two. two. Now, hey, it's the Rick Herman show. You figure out what yeah. to do with that. Yeah. Son of a jackal. What an opportunity that presents itself. I know. Additional we money go. for On With Life. Landscape. Who would like to have their patio look just like the one we sold just a few minutes ago? <laughs> yeah, you have that option. Here we go. 11. Give me 1,100. Want to give me 11 now? Give me 11. Anybody? Give me 11. Give me 1,100 now. Give me 11. Want to give me 11? Now 12. Now 13. Now 13. Now 14. Now 14. Now 15. Now 16. Give me 1,600. I got 15. Now give me 16. Now give me 1,600. 15 is a bit. Now 16. Now give me 16. Now 17. Now 18, now 1800, now 18, give me 18, give me 18, now 19, give me 19, 18, now give me 19, don't look, don't look, it's like looking into the sun, now 19, now 2, now 2, give me 2, now 21, now 2100, now 21, 21, in back, now 2, now 3, now 3, now 3, now 23, I got 23, now 4, 2400, now give me 24, 24, now 5, now 5, now 25, give me 25, anybody give me 25, is that a yes? Now, ooh, 26, now seven, now 27. 26 here, now seven, now eight. Now eight, now give me eight, anybody give me 28. I got 27 up front, now 28. Wanna give me 2,800. 27, now give me 28, give me 28. Now give me 28, 28, now nine, give me nine. Now three, now three, I got 29. Now three, now 31. Now 31, now give me 31. I got three here, now give me 31. 31, now two, give me two. 31, now give me two, give me 200, now give me two, give me 32. 31, now give me 32. 32, now three, give me 33. 32 now give me 33 give me 33 give me 3300 33 now 4 give me 34 33 now give me 34 give me 3400 now give me 34 give me 34 I'm not even looking 34 now give me 34 33 now give me 34 give me 34 want to give me 34 you ain't at 34 why not they're out 35 now 35 it's tough business out here bud it's a tough business and to think that I'm not just an auctioneer, Lane, I'm a consultant, and it's worth it. Now 35, now give me 35, one into 35, one into 35, one into 35, now six, now 36, 37. <laughs> 37, now give me 37, now give me 37, one into 37, all in, all done, all in, all done, all in, all done, all in, all done. So you've got that sucker for 3,600. How about it? Yeah. Man, that's it. Yeah. That just happened. That is how you get yourself on the Gail, Tammy, and Rick show. Oh, man. <laughs> I haven't been that afraid since Vietnam. I know. Talk about upselling. Woo! Yeah. All right, Rick, thank you so much yeah. for joining us this evening. Guys, big round of applause for Rick. All right, everybody grab your tickets because we're going to draw for the door prize. The door prize tickets, yep. Yeah, the door prize well, tickets. I mean, well, it's, it's the same numbers. Tickets, All right. Here, here, you, yeah. Go for it. All right, so this is good for two Celebrate Life tickets next for next year's event. Okay. And you've got to be present to win because otherwise we won't know who it is. One, zero, four. Is the suspense killing you? Four five four seven. One zero four four five four seven. Must have been close. That person was close. Last time one zero four four five four seven. It's okay, we'll put it up on the board as well or up on the Duma Hickey we as will. well. Yeah, they'll have to. But you know, like I'm gonna go rogue because like there's been a lot of two firsts, so why can't we draw another one? Well you do you right? not want to get us invited back next year? I'm working on it. All right. All right. Don't okay. put that back. Don't put that back. Here, do another one. Because nobody, okay. nobody claimed it. They must be in the potty or something. All right. 279-8390. Two, Yay! Hey! You get to come back next year. Woo! Come see us. Come, you don't get anything right now. Just come see us after the show. After the Gail and Tammy show. All right, guys, we are almost there. I so appreciate you hanging out with us, and um, but we're but we're close. We're close to the end. This is it. Closing this out is, the evening. This is the last thing. So, 
Every year, we do some sort of special initiative. Right. So previously, this is what we call the fund the need. Now, we know that some of you were bidding 2,500 and and you didn't win. I'm sorry, man, but you can win now if you want to right we can. so we have the fund the need and what that is is every year we decide we just we decide what is that initiative going to be previously that initiative has been things like we had the fund the need for the driving simulator the driving simulator has allowed us to do multiple things and also in terms of return to drive and but starting a new program and started a new program which just launched on september 1st the other thing that, that we've done with fund the need is family the family house yep um, some we've done some compassionate um compassion fund dme equipment yeah two years ago we did the dme dme equipment so basically that was the equipment that people need in order to be able to go home so without further ado i don't even see Where's joe joe and chris joe oh there we are, are. over in the corner come on so up, joe everybody. walters and chris i'm sorry i okay. don't yeah, Chris Hill, there we go. There we go. Welcome them to the stage for our Fund the Need. I don't want to spill my coffee. This looks very exciting. This is the pimp my right section. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. There we go. Good evening. Um, my name is Joe Walters and this is Chris Hill. Uh, this year our assistive technology committee did some visioning work and identified 3D printing as an uh, opportunity uh, for us to be in innovative. And Gail here is going to demo uh, our, our new development. Uh, She's going to lock the brakes first. Ooh, that's <laughs> yeah. really bright. Hey, look at me. <laughs> So our, our, our therapy team identified that there's many challenges to daily life for our person served. And one of those for folks who use wheelchairs is cooking on the stovetop. They can't see down into pots that are boiling and, and cooking. And so that we developed this mirror. And I'll let Chris here talk to you just briefly about it, the design. But when you think about all the challenges that the folks that we serve have, this is one way we're being innovative and leaders to really kind of move into a new space and use a new technology. So, Chris, do you want? so the technology that we see here is um, shown out in the hallway there is uh, FDM technology, so 3D printing. And what we worked with uh, on with life with was to try to utilize that printer to do all the interfaces between common components. And also with that, provide a unique um, solution to some of the life aids. When you talk about uh, physical therapy, every individual is different and have different needs. 3D printing allows you to do those unique things at very low volumes efficiently and effectively. And it's just a pleasure being able to work with On With Life. Uh, they've been a great group and uh, I think their ideas that they're seeing now are just uh, uh, a whirlwind of opportunity. So, you know, as we, we've got all jazzed up about this, I think the final word on whether this is great stuff or not is our person served. So we had some, one of our person served give it a run through. So the video that you're watching, this is Peggy, and she's currently one of our person served in our inpatient program. And you can see she's got the mirror device right now on the stovetop. And you don't normally fry an egg in a deep pan, but you know, we, we, we do things a little bit different here. So she's fried an egg and she's pulling it out for herself. Uh, here, what we've done is you can see uh, now we've said, okay, what else can you do with this mirror? Because just having a mirror attached to a wheelchair doesn't do a lot of good once you're done with cooking. So, Gail, what other uses can oh, you make? Sorry. <laughs> sorry. So, so, Chris, do you want to show how this can come apart a little bit? Yeah, so one of the things that we try to do is make this very modular in design so that you can remove the device with a handle and use it for other purposes, looking for underneath desks, in the refrigerator and so forth, but a very modular type design. Also, being able to quickly disconnect and put different appendages onto the device.
So here uh, you can see Peggy has taken the, the mirror adapter off and she was looking underneath since if they drop something it's easy to look under a, a countertop or a table. Uh, here we've lowered the mirror and what she's doing right here is actually she's envisioning herself doing her makeup in the morning. She said actually having that mirror right there, she can't reach on the countertops very far and actually being able to do it right there was so much better. And, and the thing that she will notice is she gets very emotional at times throughout the video because she's realizing the possibilities. And this is something that when you think about innovation, having a partnership with a group like Iowa State and Cirrus has allowed us to move forward. And we want to continue this innovation because we think there's so many needs out there and we want to continue to serve as many as we can. So what's she doing now? Oh, she's... <laughs> Uh, the other thing that we, we've found for this modular use is for body, uh, for uh, daily care. So if you have like uh, diabetes and you need to look at the bottom of your feet, she's checking out the bottom of her feet to do her self-care checks every day. So that's something that otherwise somebody else have to do it for her. She's able to do it here for herself. Now Gail was trying to set up her cell phone earlier and I had to stop her. So this is a little, a little yep, here, click yeah. the button. Oh. Now, we all like our, our smartphones, and so that was one of the things that we're now moving into. Uh, folks want to be able to use their surfaces, their tablets, and their smartphones, and the typical off-the-shelf brackets that we can buy uh, typically don't hold up over time, or they don't stay in position. So what we're doing is developing more flexibility in the design and furthering the work. And you can take it off if you want. You wanted a closer view of the, your FaceTime, didn't you? Don't break it. It's, it's a prototype. Okay. Eat, eat the Slim Jim. But hey, I thought we didn't get dinner. <laughs> I can get my little beef stick. It's all good. So really, they have this opportunity, right? Because you know, if they, they came with an idea of what they were going to spend tonight. Yep. And not everybody got to spend what you planned to spend. So this is your opportunity to help us fund the need and to help us be able to continue to do this innovative stuff within our program. And so you, if you haven't received them already, or do, Ronnie, do they have them or are we handing them out? Oh, raise your hand. So if, oh, oh. if you would like them, we have Fund the Need cards. This is your opportunity in which you, if you want to give a little something extra just to go towards helping us continue to be innovative um, in our technology and begin to find ways to be able to make a difference in the lives of the people we serve, whether it be doing devices that allow them to be able to talk to their families that much easier, to be able to communicate, to be able to be more independent with things like cooking um, and just, just get around. And so this is your opportunity because you did plan to spend some money. Yeah, and it's burning a hole in your pocket. Let's go people. Also, regarding the fund the need is not only just this really cool stuff with associated with ISU and uh, the digital printing, but any of the our assistive tech components that we have. So it might be a baby monitor, it might be an Alexa, so that somebody who cannot actually dial their phone, hey, Alexa, call my spouse. It can be a variety of assistive technology um, opportunities, iPads as well. Especially this last year, one of the things that's been able to help us continue to keep our people interacting with their families, especially when they couldn't come into our program, were iPads. And we can always use more iPads. More iPads. So if you have a burning need to spend more money and give it to us, for great things like our assistive techn technology for the fund the need. We have spotters that are around the room. You raise your hand if you would like one of those cards so that you can see what actually dollar amount goes for those cards. And they will swing around, give you what you need, raise your hand, and at the very, very end, you can drop that card off at um, our checkout. Yeah. So. Yes, sir. Yes. Again, it's not the Gail, Tammy, and Rick. We've got a little keychain um, of the On With Life logo. And again, many people would choose to give, you just didn't have the chance to do that. So here's the cool thing, for the first five $1,000 donations, 
you get one of these limited offer, 3D imprinted uh, logos that you can put on your keychain. So this allows you to continue to enjoy this evening for months and years to come. This is amazing, guys. I didn't even know these were in my pocket, but there they are, <laughs> right here, right now, and the thousand dollar deal gets you these. Look at me, I will hand these to this nice young lady, so then there's no tomfoolery that I may choose to put all five on my keychain, okay? Look at you. I mean, write me a check. They can be yours. All right, guys. Rick, were you going to get people bidding for $1,000? No, they just got to raise their hand. That's all they have to do. We will come. All you got to do is raise your hand. If you would like a fund the need card, raise it, raise it high. I'm going to lower mine because it's been hot up here. <laughs> It's getting late, we're Woo! starting to lose our filter, it's time for us to go. <laughs> yes, um, it is. <laughs> so, last but not least, you're gonna see some things come up on the Thank you, Joe and Chris, that thank are you. are going to be the numbers. So make sure you check your numbers out, because that's gonna be your, to see if you want any of the things out at the checkout. Are you guys? Okay. Yeah, I And mean, that's what we're doing in just a few minutes, guys. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pop that up there. We do wanna give you a special thank you. Thank you for being our first live studio audience. Live studio audience, thank you guys. Thank you so much. And if you raise your hands again one more time, if you wanna fund the need card, you can check out at the front for both any of your fund the needs to check out your auction items. There are people sit sitting by out front ready to check you out. Run your cards, take your money. Take your money, for sure. Um, we're almost done. Extra shout out to the Celebrate Life Committee. Ronnie, Sarah, great job. Thank you very, very much. A special round of applause for them. Yep. Thank you, guys. A huge shout out to all the staff, the volunteers, and the dreamers, the big dreamers of this event. And you know what, it takes a village, and we are so proud. Yeah, to be a part of that village. Yeah. So thank you guys, thank you for being a part of tonight. Bye guys, thank you. The checkout is ready to go for your live auctions and for your fun the need. Thank you, drive safely.